you are listening to Agape FM, nearer to you. Happy Monday! Uh, it is the Midday Talk at Agape FM and uh, bring the gospel nearer to you. I am Unwabi Isa and you know the moment it hits one o'clock, you know that we are bringing you nothing but greatness. And today I am so happy to have a guest that is in studio. It's not virtual, no. We are live on our Facebook page at Agape FM and uh, if you want to get more details and if you want to get in conversation today please do connect us on 69 but before i get to anything how are you sir i'm good thanks and you i'm well thank you you look lovely thank you all you right too. okay guys i did say i'm excited to have a, st- a guest in studio it's not virtual so i'm making eye contact today <laughs> <laughs> um before we get to anything right um is there anyone that you want to give a shout out to who's listening right now Everyone supports my company and my family and friends. Mm. And to you, dear listener of the Midday Talk, welcome once again and thank you so much. It is two minutes past one on a Monday afternoon, the 2nd of May 2022. Oh, the, ti- the, the year is gone. The, the year is gone. It's literally gone. Uh, we are sitting at 20 degrees Celsius in Kabeha and uh, I always say that it's autumn. So please... Uh, Grab that jacket or charity because well, somewhere in between it's going to get cold and it's going to get windy in the windy city. Uh, my guest today is Seso Nasipi Wobai of Dange Holdings Group. Uh, can I call you Seso? Is it Seso? How, how, how do you call you? How do we call Mdange. you? Mdange. Yes. Why Mdange? Uh, I think it's easier for oh. people to remember. So mm, yeah. I'm getting to that. Ne? Yes. I want to know the, the ins and outs of Mdange. Yeah. <laughs> So please introduce yourself. Who are you? Um, what, what disc- how do we best describe you as an individual before we get into the business? Uh, I'm Sasona Zipio Bai, born and raised in Port Elizabeth, now in uh, There's nothing much to me but me and my work mm. and my love for family and the people around me. Mm. Yeah. And there you have it for family. We're doing it always for family. And like we always did, we, we got in today with knowing you by um, Minister GUC. So we're getting to know you and we're getting to know um, the work of God through you and we're getting to know um, what entrepreneurship is. And uh, I love the story behind the business and how it actually started. So please do grab that pen and paper because it's about to get lit in here. It's about to get more educative in here. So Tell us what drives you. Um, also tap into what are the principles that you have adopted when you started the business. And as an individual for you, what drives you as um, Osses on CPO? Well, when it came to the company, I realized that there are some stuff that I had to change. Mm. A lot I had to give up. Um, I could spend a whole week doing nothing. I had time for my friends. Now I have to schedule myself. Mm. I, all, I have different itineraries for every day. Right. Um, so that's one of the things that I had to come to reality with, with mm. myself, apart from the business. But for me to be able to grow and grow the business itself, I had to give up a lot of me time mm. to be able to apply myself to the company itself. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, I started differently today. Right? Yeah. I wanted you to speak before I read your bio so that people know there's a voice. People know that uh, the face that is on your Facebook Live right now also has a bio and um, a story to tell. Yeah. Danya Holding Groups uh, started in January the 6th, that is 2021, yes. um, from a hobby of washing family cars and also always wanting to be around the clean spaces um, so he'd clean. Uh, struggling to find employment, then later decided to turn his hobby into a source of income. A cleaning and removals company also with services as a yard cleaning, house cleaning, mobile car wash, furniture removals, appliance collection and delivery, um, business deliveries and livestock hauling. I want to get into the livestock. <laughs> I actually haven't started that. 
but mm. I was inspired by actually a friend of mine that I work with. He's All also right. in the removals. Uh, department. Okay. And then there's the yard cleaning, which varies by client and um, per client. And they offer a client a request. There's a rubble, rubble, um, rubble removal, grass cutting, um, waste removal, tree felling, and painting. There's deep cleaning, carpets, laundry, and more. Their vision is to grow with their current services while exploring more and becoming one of the biggest holding companies in the country. The mission statement is to strive. They strive to act with integrity towards their employees and their clients while providing the best quality experience with regards to their cleaning and removal removal services. And please do go on our Facebook platform. It is Agape FM um, for more information about the the client's um bio so mdange the the company name is known as mdange but it was not only um it was not always been that so can we tap into first the first name you gave it to the company and why now it changed oh well, the first name was keep it clean with mdange mm. because it was a cleaning service by itself without the other service that we've mentioned now yes yes then i decided to grow uh, introduced the uh, removal services so I thought to myself I need a name mm. that's gonna hold both departments as a collective okay. and keep it clean with them wasn't relevant to the other services mm. that I offer so I decided it's easier to get a name that's gonna be a collective so the keep it clean and removal servers are under um, Tango Holdings Group Okay. The company name in Tango Holdings Group as a whole, All right. along with uh, the building material company that works now mm. under um, Tango Holdings Group. Mm, 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 mm. Now, why Mdange? You could have said something totally different. You decided to go to Mdange. What is Mdange? What was Mdange? And uh, is there a significant meaning of the name to you? Yes. Uh -huh. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, growing up, Puff Na Utatam is called Umachao. All right. And, um, I never knew, well, I still don't know why they call him that. But mm. to me, it had some sort of ne holding. Yes. You know, yes there's yes. depth to it. So, mm. I also adapted that. But, and for people to easily recognize me, mm. I'm a, mm. it's easy. you can't forget that. All right, you can. You can't. <laughs> All right, you know you can't. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Okay, so it's your identity and you yes. brought it into your business. Yes. And it always says that um, whatever name or identity you give to your business, it, it sticks. Yes. It should stick. So yes. Ndange Holdings Group. Um, it's the name that's not to forget. Um, yeah. You can never forget that. Um, a cleaning service. Now, you are you're a person who likes cleanliness. Yes. And I'm seeing today he's wearing what? So, <laughs> yes. <laughs> there is a, there's a thing for a cleanliness in there. Yeah. So now, if, if you are a person who likes cleanliness, right? And you decide to go and actually clean spaces now for an income. Uh, how did it? How did? And how did you think about this? How did it come to a business? Because you've been doing this for years yes. as a hobby. Yeah. Now, what transpired in you changing that hobby into a day job? Uh, first, first, it's unemployment. Okay. Uh, I've never had a job. The only job I had was my seasonal at sports mm. scene at. In 2019 okay that's the only job I ever had mm. so it's the unemployment part was like damn can't get a job mm -hmm. I do this as a hobby why not make money out of it true, true. so I thought why not and it's actually working for me and boom a guy that cleans <laughs> <laughs> a guy that cleans how would you reference um, entrepreneurship uh, how would you and and uh, uh, I want to put this in 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 a, in a clear manner, right? Entrepreneurship ideals, right? Entrepreneurial ideals in in society today. Is it safe to open businesses? We've got the rate of unemployment right now, yeah. and uh, people are opening their businesses right, left, right, and center. Um, do you think that being having a side hustle is something that is convenient at this age? There are advantages and disadvantages, Come. but 
for someone who has time, I'd strongly advise for you to go after what you've always been thinking of doing. If Unendo or Shelna or City Bana Gaskin DNs. Alright. Just take some time. If you have a job, just take some time, even if it's after work. Alright. And try to apply it yourself to that. Uh, how am I gonna start this? Mm -hmm. You don't even have to even ever how. Well for me I didn't even how I just started. Mm -hmm. That's okay. how I've always lived. Ukonzago Miss Zindo is start. It doesn't matter how you start, where you, you start. 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 Mm -hmm. From there on, everything else just flows. Look where I am now. Mm. You also mentioned that uh, you don't plan. Yes. Right. Now, in business, yes, it needs discipline. Yeah. If someone is like you, they don't plan. Uh, do you think that it's very, is it important for them to adopt discipline? Yes. Have you important. adopted discipline? Yes, I have. Right. <laughs> I wanted to get into that. So, um, just start. Right. Yes. Just starting means a lot of things. Someone out there is not disciplined. They don't do research. Yeah. They're just starting and they're failing. So now, would you actually say, in fact, let us define a side hustle. What is a side hustle to you? Well, to me, a side hustle is, if you have a job, it's a second income. Yes, 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 right. true. So yeah, that's what a side hustle is to me. It's mm -hmm. what you do on the side apart from the, the actual, actual job. Yeah. Yes, yes. So that's what a side hustle is to me. Mm. But if you love something, I'd never say call it a side hustle. Yes, true. Also true. Your job is a side hustle. Mm. What you love, you can't call what you love in the sector lane. Mm. So yeah. Mm. Uh, very profound thing. Um, <laughs> I want to quote that. If you love something and you already have a job, don't call it a side hustle. Call it your business. Um, it's a business. I I don't like the name side hustle. I yeah. feel like it. It's very limiting. Yeah, very. To say um, it's a side hustle because it will always remain a side hustle. Yeah. Because you gave it that name. Um, uh, my boss always says that uh, whatever you say through the mouth, you're already believing, so yeah. it will stay like that. Um, um, yes. So don't do not name something that you feel like it's got um potential. Yeah. Right. Um, do not do that. Um, your products, your services. Yes. Briefly tell us more in depth what you actually offer at Mdanya Holdings. So that someone out there who might be listening right now and be in is interested in your products can actually give you a call. All right, firstly we offer mobile cover services. We okay. also have a spot if you want to bring your car through. Mm -hmm. Uh secondly is house we also also do house cleaning. All right. Like deep cloth cleaning and Within that, it's carpet cleanings, laundry, mm. and yeah, stuff like that. Then it's the thirdly is yard cleaning. Okay. So yard cleaning is green grass, grass cutting, rubber removal, waste management, tree mm. felling, yeah, also stuff like that. Then we have a removal service. It differs from furniture removal, appliance collections, okay. livestock hauling, as it was, but we haven't had mm. this to that side of it. So yeah. Um, if you need removal, if you need cleaning, anyhow, please do contact Mdanya Holdings um, Group. And they will be leaving their contact details after this. And then uh, give them a call. Who knows, they might be the people that you've been looking for to actually do the job for you the way that you wanted them to do it. And it is 14 minutes past one on a Monday afternoon, uh, the 2nd of May, 2022. We are still tuning in to the Midday Talk at Agape FM with me, Una Visa. And today, I am chilling with Mdanya in studio. <laughs> <laughs> Please do give us a shout at 0694021131 or via our Facebook Live. We are live. You can leave your comment right there and then we will read it out on air. Um, your vision statement, right? You mentioned that you want to become the best. Um, the best, uh, excuse me. Yes, we are looking for the vision statement. Because it's there, it's on our live Facebook platform. So, um, the vision say we all you all you mentioned that uh, you want to be the best in uh, in South Africa. Yes. And why are you limiting yourself? Why am I limiting myself to South Africa? Why not say the world? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, I understand your question. I understand um, your question, but with what you just said, we have to come back and bring ourselves to being realistic. Yes, sure. And sure, sure. South Africa is a start. Mm, mm, so, right yeah. then, there. Um, so I wanted to find out that uh, as a as a person who doesn't plan, yeah. right, and your business statement is saying um to grow your current services, 
do you have mm -hmm. now strategies that you feel like in fact because you also mentioned that um, the livestock is yeah. still coming yeah, yeah now that's one and uh, is there something else that you're planning or something that's coming that we would want to say, okay, now that's positioning yourself into um, the entire Eastern Cape going into South Africa as a whole? Well. It's a secret. Okay. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you don't want to say anything. Oh. Nah, sorry, guys. <laughs> <I'm on. laughs> <laughs> All right, um, but we will be looking into your Facebook platforms and uh, we'll see what's happening because yeah. we want to know and uh, we want to be part of your your planning or your strategies um, to be the best in South Africa yeah. because I believe that uh, young people right now are, make, are doing the most. Yeah. Um, entrepreneurship in South Africa is just doing the it's most. Uh, and uh, if you've got that plan right now, uh, dear listener, please do start. And uh, every idea that you have, just jot it down. You will never forget that. Jot it down and maybe tomorrow or next week or next year or in the next 10 years, it might become a, um, your idea. Your idea might become your business and breakthrough. You never know. So in your opinion, right, would you say that starting a new business right now, um, especially with this, uh, with the pandemic just um, fading out, if I would say it's fading out because I just recently found out what it, there is a new wave coming in, right? So there's a pandemic, there's a pandemic now, and uh, unemployment is on the rise. Is it is it beneficial for young people in South Africa to start their new businesses and to be disciplined while doing it? Yes, start with discipline. Mm, mm. Uh, learn to discipline yourself. Yes. Uh, get used to that. And then apply yourself to what you want to start, the business that you want to start. And from the get-go, call out a business, call out a company. Don't, yes, yes. The side has, I'm going to the side house, don't, don't call it that. Mm, mm. Call it what you're actually doing. Okay. Yeah. Call it what you're doing, not a side hustle. Because it will remain a side hustle the moment you say it's a side hustle. So do what you are doing and uh, be very proactive in what you are doing. So you don't want to tell us what's coming through. What... um. I want to know what was the most recent or your biggest milestone that you celebrated? What happened that you actually celebrated? You felt like in Daniel your holdings. This is what we've been looking for, and uh, we are proud. And you actually celebrated. Well, for our first birthday, the okay. company actually bought itself a bucky. <gasps> That's big. Sorry. Oh, hands. So um, you bought the, the bikey? Yes. How, how is that? I'm, I'm so excited right now. So how are you feeling? <laughs> how are you feeling? Uh, the night before I didn't sleep. With the excitement? I kept checking. I like checking with the guy. Uh, <laughs> look, I'm coming tomorrow. Yes. Like, yeah, you did. Uh, like, I'm coming tomorrow. Coming, yes, yes, so, yes. Mm. And when I got it, like, I was like, okay, it's here now. It's really here. But then the celebrating had to quickly cut down because of the like work yes go back to work yeah. that is impressive that is really impressive and uh, you are going on the milestone that you're really doing because yeah. it's 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 very fantastic work if the business can actually pay its, for its services and for its products that is it's, it's such an investment yeah. and thank you for that uh you are really doing a good job well, okay you. and uh i want to know where can we find you are you on social media um as they are there if someone asks are you looking for your services where can we find you uh i'm on facebook and instagram and tiktok all right uh, on facebook kim stanger holdings group and on instagram it's mtange underscore holdings underscore group mm -hmm. and on tiktok it's mtange holdings group then whatsapp it's zero six seven eight three zero Eight zero three six. Right, please repeat them a number for us. Uh zero six seven eight three zero eight zero three six. Mm, right. So what do you do on TikTok? Uh post videos. I compile videos like of my work. Okay. And like I get to a house thirty then I do the starting video, mm. the process and the ending. Okay, you see TikTok is just doing things right now. And uh, if you do have TikTok, Instagram or Facebook, please do um, go and search them down your holdings. I'm sure it's going to prop in there and do like and subscribe and also follow and share the content. And if you feel like you need their services, I'm sure they are one step um, 
from you from coming to you. They have a new bike now, so they won't be telling you about transport issues. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you missed any of that, please do contact us on 0694021131. We will gladly and most um, send, uh, refer you to Dange Holdings Group. And uh, all the best for everything that you're doing. Thank and you. thank you so much for coming. Thank through. you for having me. Um, it was wonderful. It was amazing. Um, is there anything that, that is happening in Daniel Holdings that you want to call out live right now? Yeah, no. Nothing, not really. nothing going on at the we'll moment. We'll be looking at uh, those videos and yeah. uh, we'll follow you on uh, Daniel Holdings page. And then, yeah, we'll see from there. Now, before I let you go, right, there is one thing I love and yeah. it works for me because I love, I love seeing the... I love seeing your face when I ask it. Right? Yeah. People out there, um, see I'm an um call, if I could say that. Yeah. And people are going through so much right now. And uh, people are seeking for advice, seeking for encouragement. Um, you also mentioned that they should start the heat businesses. Yeah. But what if someone does not have an idea for a business? How would you encourage someone to actually move forward from where they are right now? Uh, I'm going to be honest. I don't know. Mm. I uh, don't want to lie and quote by now with Dr. Don't Don't True, true. Mm, mm, mm. But I always believe a corner in them doing. True. That nobody in them can be that's constant. Because mm. I mean, we give it some attention. All right. You know, and I see, am. there could be something there you don't know. Mm. I also didn't know until. You actually started. Yeah. Huh. So. For advice purposes, when it comes to umko and stuff like that, I'd say find support, mm, find a mm. place to kupele in the or a person. Mm. But for among anzo posis and the bindo kota kota. Okay, and when it comes to business, how would you encourage someone to actually go through with the business plan? Well, what the business plan? I don't know. I don't have a business plan. I no, like think. if they have the idea. Like, yeah. Now, how would they? How would you advise them to go through? It's actually apply yourself. Right. Um, I don't plan, but do some research mm. about what you're interested in and what you want to do as a business. Yeah. Do some research, jot down ideas, and find relevant people who could mm. like, you could get advice from about what you want to do because. I'm not the only cleaning service. There are people. Yes, yes. And my brother actually has a cleaning service. Mm. And I actually had a sit down with his dad about All right. after starting. Like I told him, but ah, I'm cool, 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 is saying let's go boy <laughs> thank you so much um for tuning into our live um once again thank you for coming through it was lovely i enjoyed our conversation thank you for having me yes yes and all the best for your future endeavors well, thank you and i cannot wait to see what's happening yes you don't want to tell us but can <laughs> we are going to sit and wait on what's happening and um, it is 24 minutes past one it is 21 degrees celsius in quebec you are still tuning into the they talk at a copy of him bringing the gospel nearer to you. I am Unavisa. And today, my guest was Sesona Sipiwo Mbai from Dange Holdings Group, telling us about how he maneuvered from unemployment to being self employed and also employing other people to do the job with him, and also how entrepreneurial um, ideals became his business. And uh, if you have any questions, Please do go on, on our Facebook platforms and you'll find whatever that you need right there. And um, go into our WhatsApp on 0694021131. Um, if you want to be on the show, please also do hit us up and then we'll get to know what you want to do. And uh, we've got so many more to come we are on facebook we're on youtube um youtube yes and also on instagram at agape if um, uh, from me i am saying thank you so much and uh, god is everything by v wenigita um danya thank you thank you it has been lovely it was an honor um be blessed and uh, thank you so much for tuning in till next week um, until next wednesday from me it is a uh, god bless uh v when nikita saying god is god of everything goodbye mm -hmm.